Those who run say there's a peace that comes over you as your feet strum the pavement. There's a clarity that takes over with each passing mile. I do not run most often with music, so I'm alone with my thoughts, and it's a really just a time to think and to be in your own head, so to speak. Judge Craig Mitchell has been running for 25 years. In, in court, we have an hour and a half lunch, and I run almost every lunch. And it allows me to think of, you know, what would be the appropriate sentence for this particular individual. Does this person need to go to prison? Do they need a second chance? I mean, it's just, it's so helpful in so many different aspects of my life. Nine years ago, a paroled inmate who the judge had previously sentenced to prison asked him to visit the mission he was staying at on Skid Row. I mean, if you go down to Skid Row, what are you visually going to see? You're going to see literally hundreds, if not thousands of people living in tents, living on the sidewalk. People at two o'clock in the afternoon passed out on the sidewalk. What are you gonna see in the streets? You're going to see used needles. It's a very dangerous place. It's a place where I, in fact, do a lot of murder cases that come into my courtroom that take place on Skid Row. During his visit, the judge was asked by mission organizers if there was anything he could do to help. I knew how valuable running was in my own life and how therapeutic it was and figured it would be a good, you know, good activity for people in recovery. The club runs three times a week, ranging in distance from five miles to a staggering 20 miles. You know, initially on a good day, I would have two to three runners join me. And, you know, slowly the word spread and you know, to fast forward to today, uh, you know, on a good day, we'll have 40 runners out there. Each runner brings with them his or her own hopes and dreams, as well as their own hurdles and demons. Over the years, the judge has seen countless stories of success from his runners, but also ones of heartbreak. Modi is not running with us this morning. Yeah, major relapse. One of the things that these, this whole experience has made me understand in a way that I didn't before is how powerful drugs such as heroin and methamphetamine are. I don't think there's a more insidious substance out there. Through it all, Judge Mitchell continues to run and his group is thankful. People who suffer from addiction, not much else is going on in your life. You will do anything to get high. And so, the running club, you know, offers a community, a community of people who understand one another's struggles, who support one another in the sobriety. If you eliminate the addiction, the blossoming that takes place is you know, wonderful to behold. The Honorable Judge Craig Mitchell, welcome to DBL. It's a pleasure to talk with you today. Now, I gotta start off with this, Judge. I lived in LA for a long time, so I'm very familiar with Skid Row. In fact, I used to buy my suits two blocks away from there. But let's be honest, Judge, the majority of Californians are terrified of Skid Row. So I gotta know, out of all the homeless areas in the city, why start a running club there? You go where the need is. Um, there are three major missions that service the homeless and addicted population. Uh, Midnight Mission, LA Mission, and Union Rescue. And that's where we primarily get our runners. Judge, let me just address the homeless population in LA for a minute, because a friend of our show, Dr. Drew, is on top of this problem. A lot of people don't see this as a problem, but the homeless population is growing more and more every day. Can you speak to this? It is, um, tragically. I mean, last year it was in the upper 50,000s. Uh, it's now probably mid 65,000 homeless people. And from my vantage point, you know, on the bench and then being down on Skid Row three times a week, uh, I attribute it largely to the explosion of the use of methamphetamine. Uh, it is an insidious drug. It takes over people's lives. That, that's the, the real culprit in my, in my view. Judge, when it comes to the homeless, our society tends to have a very one-dimensional view of them, but you want people to understand they are so much more. Can you explain that? Absolutely, I mean, you know, it's, it's 
I, I think really a disservice to any human being to look at that person in a one dimensional perspective. Um, everybody has a backstory. They have complexities. And, and that holds true for the homeless population. I, I know, you know, even before I started the running club, you look at someone who is sleeping on a sidewalk, who is dirty, who may have a needle hanging from their arm. That's the same person that a mother held in their arms when that child was born. That is the same person that went into an elementary school classroom, you know, all cleaned up with a smile on their face, eager to begin their life. And, you know, I, I just refuse to, you know, not see the larger person. Yeah, when you look at them like that, it's really hard not to care. I, I totally get where you're saying on that. But I've been fortunate enough, Judge, to travel all over the world. You take your runners on yearly trips to marathons all over the world. So why do you think it's an important part of your club to travel like that? One, it's a huge inducement for the people to maintain their sobriety. I mean, if they know that they continue to run with us three times a week and they show up consistently, their entire trip overseas will be paid for. In fact, this past August, we just got back from Ecuador and the Galapagos Islands where we spent two weeks and we ran a marathon in the Amazon jungle. And so, you know, to give them a real powerful incentive to continue to go to the 12 step meetings, to continue to go to the counseling sessions, uh, you know, it, it all fits together to help a person sustain their sobriety. It, it makes perfect sense to me, but I understand that's a long road to get to that finish line, kind of pun intended on this one. Judge Mitchell, thank you again so much. And for all of you looking to learn more about this remarkable club, you can watch the Skid Row Marathon documentary on Amazon. And if you want to help, visit the website skidrowrunningclub.com. Judge, thank you so much for joining us here today. Jeff, I really appreciate it. Thank you.